Happy Tuesday, Garden Family. I am heading out to the garden this morning. Just doing a quick check of everything. Look at my green beans. They have latched on to my back porch lights. And they are growing. Y'all look at this mess in my back, on my back porch. These two right here, look at her. It's because of them. When they don't have nothing to do, this is what they do. Now, these boxes, yeah, that's my fault. But these two, she done tore up her ball. Those are um, eggshells. She done crushed up eggshells. This was my purple heart that she decided that she really had to have and play with. I come out here every morning and have to clean up after <clears throat> these two. But let's go and take a look. I'm going to have to blow this back patio off. So my other strawberries have not come from Isins as of yet. But these are the wild strawberries that were in the garden. So I've already put those in two portions of our green stalk. And then we still have one, two, three sections of the green stalk. I'm not even going to put the soil in them yet until I actually get the uh, strawberries in. But they should be in um, by the end of this month. The mint has bounced back. Everything is doing. Everything is doing pretty good. Just doing a quick walk. It is cool out here this morning. This is my kitchen garden. some mint and then you guys remember the lemon thyme the chocolate mint we have a bit more mint there and then of course the hostas in the mint marigolds are doing pretty good over here the elephant ear is doing its thing this year I don't think I showed you guys my African basil. This I bought as a transplant off of Etsy, I believe. And <clears throat> this is how big it is. And it's just kind of over here in the corner, hanging out. This is where, if you remember, I had the watermelons going. So it is come a time where I'm going to come through and clean this up and put some more mulch out here and get this ready to just calm down for the fall. My butterfly peas are still doing very well. The Jamaican sorrel is looking so gorgeous. You can see the calyxes are coming in so 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 gorgeous I have one there one there and then one behind there we're getting a lot of butterfly pea flowers um, we're getting a lot of butterfly pea flowers as well as a lot of seed pods. So what I do is I try my best to come out here and pluck all the spent flowers off. So um, at this point, as fall is coming in, you really need to check it every single day. Because, yes, I want seeds, but I also want the flowers too. So I have to check it every day and pull my flowers off. Remember, I was threatening this apple tree <laughs> that I was going to remove it. And it is, again, putting on flowers and trying to set fruit. I'm hoping that I actually get some of the fruit this year and it does not get knocked off. This one has not given me anything since I have purchased it. And they are the same type of tree. Y'all... These pinto beans are just doing the darn thing. They absolutely love this area. 
by this pear tree. I mean, when I say they love this area every single day, and you guys have heard me when Miss Linda does her challenge of having everybody come through and say what they will never grow again and i tell you all the time that green sweet peas are one that i'll never grow again because you don't get enough but these pinto beans look how long the pod gets and you get so many pinto beans i think this right here is actually only three plants and even if i don't let the plants dry here if i don't let the pods dry here i pick them i pick them and i shell them green and <clears throat> you can cook them that same way if you want to store them on the shelf then you need to let them dry out but for me i have some that i'm storing on the shelf and then i have some that i am storing in the freezer here is my zinnia garden it is looking gorgeous 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 i'm going to come through today and pick some zinnias to take inside the house This my roses in the corner back here. I was thinking about putting a fig tree back here, but we will see. My sad little okra plants. They're putting off two and three okra a day, which is fine. You can see back there. I see an okra back there. So I need to make sure I come out and check, check, check. Y'all look at these sweet potatoes. This bed right here is gonna be dedicated to <clears throat> to um, garlic. And <laughs> sweet potatoes are trying to grow back in it. So sweet potatoes are growing in there as well, but I'm probably just gonna let those stay right there. But those are gonna get pulled out because I am gonna put garlic in that bed. The butter peas are doing really well. I came out yesterday and I plucked some. You guys remember that I showed you the yard long beans that I plucked and I made stir fry out of them. They were really, really good. So I'm hoping that I get quite a bit more because I want to have some for Thanksgiving. Y'all, my onion seedlings are not doing well this year. I have some inside the garden as well that I'm going to show you. So I did order some plants from Dixondale Farms. Because simply, if you look here, I hardly have any germination if any in this onion bed and I did this on what well, hasn't been that many days so of course I'm gonna let it stay and hang out but usually by now I would have some germination I'm gonna come through the top layer is dry but I'm gonna come through and water that and this is a closer look at that bed where the sweet potatoes have decided they're coming back this is the back side of the butter pea bed and on this end I have some broccoli as you can see the peppers are doing very well the sage is looking good y'all I had the biggest hornworm on this tomato plant the other day and I knocked it off and scooped it up with my shovel and took it to the chickens and they stared at it. <laughs> they looked at it like, yeah, nah, we're not eating that. In this bed, I pull the shade cloth 
down. I was watching Miss Linda's video the other day and she was talking about coming through and plucking the worms off. Y'all, the worms are so disrespectful. Look at that moth. The worms are so disrespectful. I thought even the shade cloth would help me with the worms, but it has not. So I literally have to come through and check because look at there. I know that the plants will bounce back, but good grief, you know. And these are my Morris Heading collards. I have Georgia collards. And in the center, I planted some onion seeds and they have not germinated as of yet but again it's only been about maybe a week if that but the plants are doing good they may not look gorgeous right now because of course like i said the bugs are still out <clears throat> which is why I was keeping not only the heat but because of the bugs that is why I was keeping the shade cloth the loofah gourds are doing very well giving the chicken some water The loofah gourds are doing really, really well. And I'm just letting them hang out <clears throat> because like I told you before, this area, it's fine. It's not designated for anything. There's not anything that's gonna go here. These peppers are going to get pulled very, very shortly. These peppers are booming. They are doing very, very well, which is why I have not pulled any of them. I came through and I stripped one, two, three plants. I stripped them down of peppers and look how many peppers are back on there, which means um, I'm actually going to can some more peppers this year. I said I wasn't, but, you know, you know, you know, since the plants are doing so well, well, why not? And I have more peppers going there. The sage is doing very well. This tomato is not in the way of anything, so that's why it's still being allowed to be there. I have some new pepper plants that are coming in. And this should be my pimentos. And I'm really hoping this one produces very well because I want those pimentos. Uh, this was a pimento pepper and it only produced like three peppers. this is it guys I just wanted to do a quick morning walk through let you guys see what I have going on right now as we are transitioning into the fall garden and we all know that fall gardens do not require as much work uh, you may have a little upfront work in the beginning. Uh, this is the butter peas. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pluck one off so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to sit you down right quick so that you can see. So you just kind of, I just kind of pop it. Uh-oh, I dropped one. But this is what the butter pea looks like on the inside.
And again, I just take it and I pop it and open it up and you get the peas on the inside. And they taste just like llama beans. So I have been collecting those because again, the holidays are coming and I wanna have beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, <laughs> you name it. But yeah, I really want this year for as much as possible, the vegetables to come from the garden. Like I said, my onions are germinating very slow this year, which is it's kind of surprising to me. But I have the onions that I sowed seeds for. And then I also ordered about a 100 onion, not sets, but the actual onion seeds, um, the plants from Dixondale Farms this year. I ordered the Texas Super Sweet and the Candy Onion so those should come in in November and they will go in the bed that I have the peppers in. So the peppers will get pulled and that's where those onions will go. So if if almost by the time those onions are supposed to get mailed in, my onion seedlings have not done what I wanted them to do, I will place another order because I did run out of onions this year. I had a friend text me just yesterday asking me if I had any onions she could buy now I would have given them to her but I seriously am out of the onions that I grew and I hate that so this year I am going to grow double the amount so um the garlic I did very well I had enough garlic that I have enough left over to plant this year so I'm gonna plant my own garlic this year and see how it does and then I have about four jars in the refrigerator with the garlic that is I have it um, in olive oil so as I cook I can take it out of the olive oil chop it up and use it and then I have dry garlic as well so that worked out very well for me but guys thank you thank you thank you for walking along with me this morning hanging out with me chatting with me on this beautiful cool chilly tuesday fall morning and as always have faith in our food get up get out and grow something guys happy fall